every good result we get at home, teams will come to Valley Parade a bit more wary of us, perhaps a bit more willing to sit back and defend. I suppose that's something that we've got to be wary of, the fact that we might need patience in some of these matches. Yeah, no, we had to deal with that last year. But, uh, we're well equipped to do that. And, uh, uh, players in the team make those decisions on the ball. It's time you've got to, got to link the play, get a few passes in. You can't go for the jugular all the time if, if uh, teams are putting 10 men behind the ball. Uh, but equally, when I saw Shrewsbury play Bristol City, uh, you know they went to win that game, and uh, they were they were quite a positive team. Um, you know, they can tell by watching them play; they, they do work hard and the, the structure and the shape of the team. So, um, you know, might take 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 a bit of patience, like you say, uh, but they are a positive team themselves. Just just talking about opponents, Shrewsbury. Obviously, you went to see them recently. I know you've probably watched a good few games of there as well in the build-up to this this match this weekend. Obviously, they've got a very experienced manager, Graham Turner. They do have some, some good players. It should, on paper, be another another challenging game. Yeah, I think it'd be a good game to watch. I think um, you know, Shrewsbury, similar to when we played um, them in, in our division a couple of seasons ago. You know, the team kind of reflects the manager. They played good football. Um, all the players are comfortable on the ball and um, he's improved the team this year from, from last year. Um, obviously a disappointment last week of losing late in the game to Wolves to, to a penalty decision. Um, but you know, as much as we always look at the opposition and we do, which is important, you know, the majority of our training is geared to how we're going to play and um, hoping that, um, that our key players will cause Shrewsbury defenders problems and I you know, believe if we're at our best, you know, we've got players who are very difficult to cope with. Looking at the last home game, Colchester, and obviously ideally we'd prefer to have won that match, but in some way did that hold, hold us in good stead, the fact that obviously we've had our first real blip of our home form, but we've come through it and we've showed that, you know, there are going to be times that we'll have to dig in at home. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think in any game you take lessons um, with you which you carry with, with you for the season. I thought we started as well as we started at any game at home against Colchester. We got the goal and I just felt we rested on our lows slightly. And uh, we'll be reminding the lads before we go into this game that we've got to have a ruthless approach from the first minute to the last um, to, to get those valuable three points. Obviously, we asked for a response from the lads at half time. they have been 2 1 down and, and we, they gave it in a terrific fashion and probably should have won the game. But it was just that small period in the game where I just felt we just you know, took our foot off the gas slightly um, but it's a good indication of how far we've come and we've raised the bar um, a lot uh, you know we're talking about a disappointment we've got a point against a very good team